Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, thank you for watching. Okay everyone, so today is a cash stuffing video. I know that might seem a little bit out of order to anybody who actually pays attention to the order of my videos, um, but yeah, it would be out of order. That is because I have decided to change up the order in which I film my videos and there's a very good reason for that. But um, first, I just wanna say, please don't mind this hoodie. This is my paint hoodie, but it's so cold in my office right now that I don't wanna take it off. Um, so there's paint all over it. I'm actually working on um, building out another space for filming. Oh, wow, my goodness. Sorry, I've got my little ho, 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 30 days to go till Christmas here, but it's kind of like leaned up against so you guys can see it um, and it just fell over on me. Okay, so anyways, I'm working on like making a separate space for filming my videos because I've noticed that the space I'm in is too small and I've needed to expand. So um, we've cleared out an area that used to be like kind of like storage it's like a room but it's not a real room because it's so small but it's definitely enough to have like a desk and like a bookshelf and like the lights and the things that I need to do my filming so that will be my new filming space and then my office will be like my Etsy space so that's what I'm in the midst of and why I have paint all over me in this ripped old hoodie but again it is very cold here in Vermont and heating the house is very expensive and so hence why I bundle up instead. Okay, so this is what we're doing today. We're cash stuffing. Now, the reason why we're cash stuffing first is because I used to pull my money out of the bank on a day that I would film because I bulk film. So I would pull all my money out of the bank. I would take my $100 aside that I needed for my $5 Friday videos, which is where I save $50 in ones and $50 in fives. So right away from the money I pulled from the bank, that was set aside. Then I would also set aside any extra money that I needed for savings challenges throughout the week that were not that were not the savings challenges I just put into that envelope, the random kind of savings challenges that I just play whenever I want. Like if I needed extra money for my Etsy sales by state or my Hello Honey or something like that, I would pull that money aside first. So I would have the money I needed for $5 Fridays, any extra money I needed for my mini savings challenge video, and I would be left with the money that I needed to do my cash stuffing for the week as well as my little extra savings um, to tuck into the extra savings that I would do whenever I wanted to do other savings challenges. And I would start with my $5 Fridays, I would film that and then minis and then cash stuffing and then an extra savings challenge video if that's what I wanted to do. The reason I am changing things up is because when I would pull the money out of the bank, I would count it. And so sometimes what happens, because in my $5 Friday video, I go over the ones with you and I go over the fives with you guys and I look for star notes. So because the other money for the cash stuffing like this would be set aside, I would look through this money before you guys would see it on camera. And so if I found a star note, you guys didn't see that. Not that, not that you guys are here for me sifting through for star notes. I mean, maybe some of you are, maybe some of you aren't, but... I want to do that on camera. I don't want to count my money and sift through my money not on camera. So that was one reason. The other reason was, well, because I did find some star notes. Again, you guys were missing that. But also because you guys are also not seeing the full count of all the money I take out of the bank when I do my cash stuffing because some money has been pulled already for those savings challenge videos. Not that that matters either, again. But then I think the third and final reason why I decided to switch up the order in which I do it is because I need the money from my cash stuffing video sometimes more than I need to film a savings challenge video. Meaning sometimes 
I've been so busy that I haven't filmed, but I need to go to the grocery store. So if I, if the first video I was to film was my cash stuffing, I could maybe film one video, move on with my life, go to the grocery store and do what I need to do. Um, so there's an ease of that aspect, like making the cash stuffing be the first thing I do so that I have access to my gas, my groceries, my spending um, faster. Uh, and then the other thing is I unstuff my wallet when I do my minis, but I wanted to start unstuffing my wallet when I do my cash stuffing so that I could kind of see like what money was coming from what categories. So if I was to unstuff my money in my cash stuffing videos, again, it would need to be the first video that I filmed. And then finally, and I know I said that something else was the final reason, but I think this is the real final reason. My cash stuffing videos are short. My other videos are not short. <laughs> so I was finding that all of my cash stuffing videos were really short. And so I wanted to put a little bit more content into those videos to balance out the other videos. So you're not getting a really short video and then like a longer video. I thought that if I threw in the counting, the star note searching, um, the unstuffing of the wallet into the cash stuffing video, that might kind of balance the length of video time out for all the videos. Okay, so I think I've given my reasoning. And again, I'm never sure of why I'm doing things. I just do it because I feel it. So that's how I'm feeling. Let's try it. Let's try this schedule. Let's try unstuffing the wallet, searching through for star notes, counting all of the money, cash stuffing, putting aside any money for the savings challenge. Let's try next a $5 Friday video, which I no longer am going to be calling $5 Friday. I'm going to be calling it random savings challenges or randomizer savings challenge. Then sift through the B-Bucks in that video. Then right into mini savings challenges where I will use the unstuffed money from my wallet, the star notes from searching through for those, the B-Bucks from searching through from that, and anything extra that I need for that video to do my mini savings challenges for the week. Then the last video that you guys will get will be just a random savings challenge video, and your bonus videos at the end of the month will be like an unstuffing, as well as if I complete challenges, I'll do an unstuffing, maybe a bill swap. So you can expect a little extra video in the last couple of weeks of the month. So that's kind of how I do things, how I will be doing things rather, and why I'm doing them that way, and what you can expect from me. I cannot give you an exact date or an exact upload schedule because that's just not how I work. And I'm not calling my video $5 Friday anymore because sometimes it just doesn't line up with a Friday. And I like it that way. That's what works for me. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to count all of this money. We are going to sift through for star notes. We are going to put it in this tray and we are going to cash stuff my bills, my personal spending, and put some money into a mini savings challenge binder and a bunch of money into a savings envelope that will go towards those other savings challenges later in the week. Okay, let's get into it. Now, the question is, do I count the money or do I just sift for star notes first? Because sometimes when I'm counting the money, I see the star note. So I think what we do is I just like, first thing is first, I could tell you how my week is and just sift through and look for star notes. My week was good. We actually had Thanksgiving this week. And so I am doing, by the way, I think this is week three of November, but I'm a little bit late because I have been so busy. So it's not really lining up with my weeks, but this is the third time I'm cash stuffing my bills this month. So yeah, Thanksgiving was really fun. We had all the amazing food. We have a lot of family over to my mom's house. She hosted this year. And so I was in charge of bringing the green bean casserole and the corn casserole. Nobody else likes corn casserole. It's something I got from actually my stepmom but I love corn casserole. And so whether the rest of my family likes it or not, I make it every year because I love it. And then green bean casserole is what my little sister loves. And so because she loves it, I make sure to make that for her every year. Um, and this year I decided to go with an elevated version. I actually made everything from scratch. So it was fresh green beans and it was not a canned cream of condensed soup or cream of mushroom soup, whatever it's called. Um, it was actually a, and I have to take these off because it's two sets of 25 here. Um, it was homemade with like 
cream and like you cut the mushrooms yourself and like it was really good like I honestly don't like green bean casserole that much but it was so yummy that I was just like yeah I'm about that um and then of course we had the traditional things we had a turkey we had mashed potatoes stuffing oh probably my favorite stuffing gravy mashed potatoes with the turkey is like the trio or the quad whatever you want to call it but that is just like the best bite with cranberry I guess I just love it all um so yeah we can just say I love it all my aunt makes a homemade cranberry sauce that is just oh amazing I was always one who loved the canned cranberry like I live and breathe for that canned cranberry sauce but she makes a homemade version and I gotta say I was really into it this year so that was good but more than that we just had like a really nice time together with family and so it was a really nice day and we had a great week okay so I sifted through all of this money there were no star bills not a one okay but last time I pulled out money for a savings challenge video I think it was like some fall savings challenges I was doing I saw a star note in there that you guys will see in my minis and I was so sad that I wasn't filming and I wasn't like I said I wasn't searching for that star note on camera I was so sad because it was so satisfying when I found that star note so again another reason why I will be pulling the money and searching for it on camera yeah, that's how I'm going to do it now. So we'll see how this goes. Now I need to count this money. This should be $1,000. We have 100, 200, 50, 300, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 80, 97. So that's 710, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 98. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 900. That should be 900. And 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, am I a dollar shy? I don't think I am. I probably just counted it wrong um, because it should be a thousand again, and those were banded in 25s. So if I count these ones and it's $50 and ones, it's correct. So let me just sift through this really quickly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have a hidden one there. 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Yeah, so that is correct. There's $50 in ones, which means there is $1,000 here. So let's go ahead and set the money up right over here. Okay, so this is all set up over here, and let's go ahead and get out the first thing, which would be my wallet. Okay, so this would be the part where I actually unstuff my wallet, except there's nothing for me to unstuff this week. The only thing that I had left in my wallet was some Canadian cash, which I'm not going to unstuff it. I'm just going to show it to you guys in minis and tell you what I'm going to do with that. So we're all basically unstuffed and ready to just start stuffing for the week. So let's go ahead and get started. So we have $20, which will go into my envelope, which is my spending for the week. And last week I pulled this 20 and put it into a savings challenge. So that might happen again this week, we shall see. And then we'll do $20 for my wife as well. And I know I told you guys that I was getting some new cash envelopes, but change of plans, I am not getting new cash envelopes. I'm either going to make something myself or I'm going to try to reuse what I already have. Just trying to be a little bit more thoughtful in what I purchase and what is really necessary. So gas is getting $20 this week as well. And we're just using these uh, envelopes that I already have. So $100 is going to groceries. And let's pop that down in. Now fun this week, I think should get $30. So let's do 20, 30. 
Um, I don't have anything planned necessarily, but I just want to make sure that the money, the extra money is there. If I need it, I want to make sure that I'm stuffing the money that we need to spend throughout the week. And I'm not tempted to use a card or pull from money that has not been budgeted yet. If you know what I mean. Okay. So that's how we're doing it. Five into miscellaneous. I kind of want to try to be a little bit more consistent with, um, with this envelope in whether I stuff it or not. I think it's either I need to stuff it all the time or not stuff it all the time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm not making sense tonight, guys. It's late. I should have filmed this like two days ago. <laughs> um, and we're getting to it now. So I'm doing the best I can here. But we've got all the personal spending envelopes stuffed for the week, geared up and ready to go. So let's set these aside. And then the next thing we'll get out is my bills envelope and my bills envelope, my bills binder, and um, we'll start stuffing this. So this is the third time I'm stuffing this this month, and we'll have one more stuffing before the end of the month before we will unstuff it and bring it back to the bank to pay the bills. So rent is getting $150, and let's go ahead and pop this in here and give it a count. Whoops and see how much we have in rent so far. We have one, two, three, 50, four, 50. So 450 in rent, which is perfect. And let's pop that back down in, and that one is all set. Okay, so then the next one is AT&T, and AT&T always gets $40, so we will go 20, 40 on this one. And let's give this one a count as well and see what we have. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 120 on AT&T, which is perfect. So pop that back down as well. And then Progressive gets $30. So we'll go 20, 30 on Progressive. And we'll add this in here and see what we have in total for Progressive. I need to figure out when the next time this bill is coming out because it is every six months, but the months are just flying by. Okay, so in Progressive, we have one, two, three, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 410. So $410 in Progressive, which is really good. And then the next one I have is Storage, and this one does get $30 a month as well if there's a nice bill i might just tuck it to the back 20 30 um because i like to use the nicer ones for savings challenges but it doesn't really matter um 20 40 60 70 80 90 so 90 dollars in storage which is perfect that will bring us to 120 at the end of the month and then subscriptions i believe is the category that gets 35 dollars a week so let's go ahead and pop this in. We have 20, 35 into subscriptions. And yes, because it has fives, that's the one. All right, so let's go ahead and count up subscriptions. We have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 105. So $105, but that's a really nice five, guys. I need to like, <laughs> I need to trade it out. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. What did I say I had 105? That wasn't right. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 105. Just kidding. It was right. <laughs> I can't count tonight. 105. That makes sense. Okay. So then the next category is credit cards. Now this one gets uh, $30 as well. So let's go ahead and give it the 20, $30. 2030. And sometimes guys, and I didn't do it because I looked at this money on camera, but sometimes when I do what I do when I first get it from the bank and I count the money is I uncurl the corners of the bills. Cause to me having those like folded drives me nuts. Um, so I will try to resist the urge to do that every time I grab a bill. So credit cards got 30 and now it has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. So $90 in credit cards, which is correct. And then let's take a look at this next one, which is the debt snowball. Now this one gets $75 a week. So 50, 70, and we'll go five. 50, 75 into debt snowball. Oh my gosh. And let's, oops, leave that prop bill in there. That's just a motivational bill. And let's go ahead and add this money in 
and we now have 50, 100, 50, 70, 90, 210, uh, 215, 20, 25. So you have 225, which makes sense because we'll have 300 at the end of the month. So that is perfect. So then Beautiful Smile is the next one, and this one gets 65. And I keep forgetting to pull a 50 for this. I keep in my cash breakdown, I keep putting it as 20s. 20, 40, 60. Oh, I know why. It's because I don't want to count an odd 50. Never mind. It's going to probably stay like this. Okay, so 65. So 20, 40, 65. And then we'll count up what we have in total here once we add that in. My wife's braces has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95. So 195. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95. Yes, 195. I just had to double count that one just to be sure. And that one is all set. Okay, so then that brings us to the savings binder, uh, not binder, the savings envelope, which is where I usually take all the rest of the money for my cash stuffing and stick it in there. And then I pull from there when I play savings challenges. So we will do that. But the first thing I wanna do is my mini binder. So this little mini binder, I have been saving along in every single week with my cash stuffing video. And I want to continue doing that in my cash stuffing video. Oh, I lost a little scratchy token. Oh, it's in there. Okay, there it is. Um, so I will just pull the next card, which would be this one right here, and let's give it a scratch and see how much we're putting into this today. So $38. That's awesome. Let me just clean this up. I can't use the kitty because it's holding the ho, ho, ho. It's like resting against it. So I'm just going to have to <laughs> wipe it off like that. Okay, so $38. Let's go ahead and get that. We'll do 20, 30, 5, um, 6, 7, 8. The only thing I need to be careful about is that they're not B-Bucks because... Um, Obviously, I will do the B-Bucks. I'll sift through the B-Bucks in my $5 Friday video, and I'll just have to know that this is not $50 in ones, which is fine. Again, it's not going to be $5 Fridays anymore. It's going to be random savings challenge day or randomizer savings challenge day since that is what I use when I do that. Okay, so the $38 went into the mini binder and that is all set. So now we're left with the money that will go into, sa oops, into savings. Sorry, I just knocked something over. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this envelope back out. So again, this envelope is going to hold the money for the $5 Fridays as well, which means it's going to be thick with these $1 bills. But I don't want to stop pulling $50 in ones out of the bank because I want to give myself an opportunity to find those B-Bucks because the B-Bucks go towards my son's savings challenge and my son's college fund. So I will continue to pull the $50 in ones out each week. And yeah, things will be changing a little bit, but it won't be changing that much. And hopefully again, this video will be longer than like the 10 minutes that sometimes my cash stuffing videos are, um, and that things will balance out with the other videos. So that is my hope and that is my plan going forward. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you are excited about my new schedule and my new ideas. And that is going to be it for today's video. So other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.